Visiting Indian Foreign Secretary Subramaniam Jai Shankar called on President Maithri Palis Sirisena and other senior officials of the government today. The visiting Indian Foreign Secretary met with leader of the opposition R. Sambandan. During the meeting, he had also held discussions with members from the Tamil National Alliance. It was a fruitful discussion. They are well aware of our issues. More attention was drawn towards the constitution. They said that we need to take quick decisions pertaining to the constitution. He will meet the president and prime minister today and speak on this further. He added that a long-term solution to this issue cannot be expected. Later, the visiting Indian Foreign Secretary met with a group including Minister Manu Ganeshan, P. Digambaram and V. Radha Krishnan at the Indian High Commission in Colombo. The Indian Foreign Secretary also met with Arumugam Tondaman and Muthu Sivalingam. Jay Shankar called on President Maitri Pala Sirisena this morning. The foreign dignitary was also due to meet with Prime Minister Ranul Vikramasinghe this evening. Meanwhile, the New India Express reports that Jay Shankar undertook this visit to keep himself abreast of the latest developments in the nation, besides keeping track of the existing Indian development projects and to explore possibilities of future engagement in the development and commercial sectors. The New Indian Express reported that one of the issues which is likely to crop up during discussion is the uncertainty which has crept into the Lanka Indian Oil Corporation's hold on the oil tanks in Trincomalee. The Indian Foreign Secretary would also discuss the prospect of getting further contracts to build rail networks in Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, according to the New India Express, there is talk on developing the Trincomalee port with an economic zone around it.